Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. We're back out here on my favorite little lake in Lake Orion, Lake 16, trying some more night fishing. I don't expect to find much, but I'm just trying out some more gear on the nights I have off. So thanks for joining me. Windy. Let's bat down the hatches, turn the heater on. Alright, let's warm it up in here. Now normally the lakes around here, especially Lake 16, aren't really known for their activity at night. Their night fishing isn't so great. They don't have a whole lot of the species that stay active at night. But we got this uh well, come here, check it out. We got this green light. The idea behind the green light is it draws in plankton and little bait fish. And so maybe we can change around the uh, attention of the sleeping fish. And later at night, this is the only time I've been able to get out. So we're going to try and make the best of it. So I picked up this little $15 light on Amazon. It's a fishing light, draw in plankton and stuff. If you saw our last ice fishing video, you know that the light works to draw in plankton. Uh, we haven't actually made it to it drawing in any bait fish or anything yet. Decided to skip a step. I went to a local bait shop and pro procured myself a bunch of little minnows so that we can, you know, bypass the step where I wait for bait fish to come. So now I've just got a minnow on each pole with a little glow jig on it. And I've got a minnow on a quick strike rig on a pop-up outside the tent. And I'm just kind of fishing outside around the lights, relaxing, enjoying the heat of my shanty. Uh, I don't know or expect to catch anything, but this is, there are worse ways to spend an evening. Speaking of minnows, let's check and see how mine are doing. See him there? He's still swimming around. Normally I wouldn't pull a minnow up out of the hole, but these minnows are on glow jigs. Those jigs will glow, so I want to shine it in the light for a minute so that when I put it back down, it'll live its best life. I'm back in the hole. Godspeed, minnow. All right, then I'll close the bale on that. Check the drag. Then into the bucket holder with it. Let's check the other one. This one's even easier because if I turn my light off, we should be able to see it. I see him swimming down around there. He's just enjoying that light and the bait fish. I'm gonna let him drop down a little bit more. Get down into that mess of plankton like he's feeding. And it's been a while since we checked the tip up, so let's go do that. There she is. She hasn't popped, but. Let's check the minnow. Oh, it's windy. It's going to be gross and loud. Brought our Celsius tip up back inside because the minnow is mostly deceased. So we're going to go ahead and replace that right now. The minnows can actually live for... Oh, I'm stupid. I'm just going to use the net. Trip, trip. Use the net if you got it. But if you hook these minnows right, it can actually live for quite a while on the hook. And what you want to do, what you want to do is get under the dorsal fin, under the spine, but not through any of the organs. And you definitely don't want to break the spine because then they can't swim. He's still wiggling, so he's good to go. I'm going to take that back out there, run that down the hole. What I really need is I need a little drop weight to put on this 
because he's not going down the hole so nicely. I don't think I have one, so I'm just gonna make do. Oh, back out in the freezing cold, eh? Just gotta break that ice up because I'm stupid. Didn't bring out my scoop. Oh yeah, he goes down a lot better. Okay, now you faced your flag into the wind so the wind doesn't set it off. Set your flag, check your drag. Let's get back to the show. chilly and windy. I actually put the side straps up on my shanty this time. Oh, let's get to jigging. So that minnow's still kicking, but we're gonna get the uh, the glow jig charged back up. Cute little orange and white glow jig through a properly hooked minnow. And I back down the hold. Bye little fishy. Oh wait. There we go. Oh, good, he's going away from the light. That's helpful. Sometimes I have to watch to make sure he doesn't wrap himself around the light. There we go, and now that he's down by the light, oh, well, there's tons of little plankton down by the light. There you go, you see him? He's swimming around enjoying the little planktons. So I'm just gonna jig him to keep him moving in that school of plankton for him to eat. Let's see if we can't get something moving around it. I've got worse ways to spend an evening. I even have cell phone service out here so I can watch YouTube. And I've probably run that green light on this battery for six, seven hours at this point, including the three hours I ran it yesterday. You know, I really would like to catch some fish for everybody, but I'm just glad to be out here after not having ice until February. Heck, we're almost getting into March and we didn't have ice. Can you hear that? It's the straps vibrating in the wind, but it definitely keeps this thing up and going. I'm probably going to pack up soon and go in. It's getting real late, like past midnight, and I've literally seen nothing but plankton and the own bait fish I've been putting in, so still, still a great way to spend a night. Oh, the wind's dying down a little bit, and it's super late, so I think while I've got the chance, Gonna pack up and head out of here. Put my little jigs in. Oh yeah, still nothing there at all. Time to go get the tip up. Okay, time to pack the bucket back up and get the fish cam ready to go. Get the light out of there. Oh yeah, look at that green. It's awesome. Oh, it brought all this plankton up with it. It's so gross. Woo! That's it.
so that's it, man. Just another short one where we don't get fish. Just like the old days. But I'm still having a lot of fun. So, you know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe down there somewhere. It's been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.